when my kids came as well, there were things that she could connect to, like their tongue ties, their palates, things that she noticed right away that she was like, let's just prevent any issues in, for years to come by f addressing things now. And I love that. That's a huge relief to me to know that my kids are getting such preventative care on top of their dental care. So Bertie was a thumb sucker. Um, I don't, I wasn't as a kid, so like, you know, I didn't know what that would lead to long term. Her teeth were pushed out a little bit from it. Like she now sleeps with her mouth open, <laughs> you know, all the kinds of things that I wouldn't say I would pay attention to on their own, but when we brought her in to see Dr. Graham, it was very gently, but very, um, I would say emphatically, this is something we want to address now so that when her adult teeth start coming in, she's five, so she hasn't lost any teeth yet, but when her adult teeth start coming in, when she's older and a teenager and like might need braces, like let's just take care of these things now and it's gonna make her life a lot easier when she's when she cares. She had a very small mouth, like very narrow. Even her baby teeth were a little overlapped. So you think like there's nowhere for adult teeth to fit in there. She has a top and a bottom ex palate expander. And we started that like maybe two months ago. And the change in the spacing of her mouth and how much room there is now, it's amazing to me, honestly. And with very little pain. I was really nervous about that as a mom. Like, I don't want her to be scared of the dentist. I don't want her to think that like, every time I go to the dentist, it's painful and scary and all that kind of stuff. But it was very, very minimal invasiveness. So I'm, I'm super grateful we're getting this stuff in now and not having to worry about this when she's older. And now I feel like it's something I'm much more conscious of. You know, I, how it affects like ADHD symptoms or all of these things, you know, the kids, their, the demeanor or like the temperament of your children can be affected by it. I'm always interested in learning more too. And that's what I feel like every time I have a question about it, I have like a really comprehensive answer from Dr. Graham too. Mostly what I want for Bertie is to not have to experience anything that I experienced that I didn't know was connected. So again, the way that I've just thought of myself as a poor sleeper my whole life, I'd love it if she didn't ever have to feel that way. Like that's reassuring to me as a mom to think that that's not something she'll have to deal with. I'd love for her to prevent the levels of anxiety that I've had. You know, I'm hoping that good sleep affects all areas of her life. I love even just the example that Dr. Graham sets. Honestly, like, as a young girl, I love having my daughter see someone like Dr. Graham, who's in the office, pregnant, and just like running the show. She is so knowledgeable, so engaging. It, she makes you want to go into the career field, even if you've had no interest before. So like, I love the idea that she's also someone in my daughter's life that she sees on a regular basis and just shows her like how important all of these small habits are, these small changes, how they can affect big picture stuff. I think all of that is just really appealing.